It was actually drifting towards the door when I tried to land it. I don't know what's going on here in the dark. So, I'm outside the city and I brought the Air 3S because we're gonna test the night capabilities of this drone. And to make it perfectly legal here in uh, the dark, I've mounted a flashing LED on one of the rear arms, which is what it's supposed to have. So it's visible from yeah, all angles uh, when we are flying it uh, in the dark. This drone, one of the key selling points are with the LiDAR sensor in the front of the drone and these TOF infrared sensors in the base, it should basically be able to do obstacle avoidance uh, when it's flying in the dark. That in combination uh, with the one inch uh, sensor should improve the low light capabilities of the drone. Let's get it airborne and see how good it actually works. In the end, we will test the return to home feature just to see if the claimed return path is uh, something that is uh, capable for this drone to do when it's pitch black outside. Let's put it on the launch pad. Yeah, it's a little bit windy. It says no satellites. We just wait a second here just to see what's going on. So now we need a compass calibration. That's a long time since we had one of those. So we managed to calibrate the compass here. Ambient light too low, vision and optical sensing unavailable. Fly with caution. Whoa. What the f is going on? <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on here. Let me just reboot it. Now just put it on the ground out here and then I will boot it up away from any magnetic interference. Because it might be the reason why we had issues here. So, let's get started. So. And because we have low light scenario here, it's actually uh, not very ideal to um, use uh, 60 FPS. So I think what we would do now is we would just go down and use 30 instead, because we need all the light that we can get when we are flying around, testing this. But it seems there's not many issues. So, flight altitude 110. Yes, so let's just take a view over the city here. Strong wind. CC. So, so this is night footage in the, the standard profile. See, I'm located over here, I can <laughs> It's actually quite practical with this uh, <laughs> green dot thingy. Keep myself over the road here. See if there's uh, ambient light, something from, uh, yeah, artificial light or so. There's absolutely no issues whatsoever filming under these conditions. What it's saying now is it actually says that the, the back left and right and up and down are unavailable. So it's uh, basically only the lighter sensor that will save the drone now if it hits something. So it has this uh, lighter sensor system in the front that uses a laser that doesn't care about if it's bright or if it's uh, dark outside. So that will work under all circumstances. Uh, the bottom sensors, they are using infrared, but I guess they need to be closer to the ground to work. It is actually a little bit windy here. It's, I'm surprised that it's being tossed around so much. <laughs> See the reflectors? <laughs> that's, that's the LED <laughs> from the drone that is being reflected. So let's just see. Just move it over here. 
see if the the sensors are actually detecting something. The lighter system, no. Yeah, so it does see something. You can see the arc on the top of the screen. Hello. Uh, let's just check what the control says. Safety. Yeah, it just says brake, so that's fine. Fly it towards the car and see if it stops. Proceed. Yeah, it stops. It detects the car. But of course, it's a little bit annoying that we have this. Uh, we need to test it at something else. And then I'll step out and see if it actually detects me. Try and go over here where there's a little bit darker. Even though I'm standing here in the dark, going over here, maybe I can turn off the auxiliary light. Auxiliary lights off. So now the lights are completely off and the drone is flexing around here. <laughs> you can see that it detects me. It does not see anything from behind. But it does detect me here in the front with the lighter sensor. <laughs> I still have a little bit of audio. No, 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 it's frozen. God damn it, Alexis, it's frozen. Ah, then it's recording on, it's recording on this one. I'm really not a big fan of the Osmo Action 4 and, uh, and this combination, this is bollocks. So now we ended up messing around with a lot of other stuff than was uh, the, 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 the sole purpose of this. We, uh, we, uh, we should have tested the, the return to home capability. So that is what we're going to do next in low light. Sorry about the flying. Maybe that's not the most beautiful flying that you've ever seen. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Got to turn on the camera. Okay, so what had happened here right before was uh, that the, the Osmo Action threw the connection because I was messing around testing if the sensors were actually working or not. So uh, right now I've flown the, the drone out here next to a building here. It's uh, roughly 290 meters away and I can <laughs> just see it over there. It helps tremendously that you have this flashing LED to see it in the sky. There's no doubt about that. So I'll put the drone out here somewhere, close to the road, and then we will hit the return to home feature here. So, now it's doing something, some augmented reality. <laughs> Strong wind warning. I put it outside, uh, so it took off uh, from the back of the car. I don't know if that part was uh, yeah, part of the, the video audio track, but at least uh, it took off behind the car. So I don't want to have any shady interactions uh, with the, the reflections in the roof and stuff like that. So it's coming back, strong wind warning, and it's it's kind of crazy how it's being tossed around here. It has 32 satellites, so there should be plenty of, of stuff that could help it. So, now it goes down. So let me know what you think about uh, the night uh, footage uh, quality. But that's not very accurate. <laughs> that's what hot wire it was taking off from. It's more towards the center. So let, let's just do a little bit more footage here. But yeah, let's put the, the roundabout in the center. So we do 10 seconds of that with the, the medium telephoto. And then we 
go back here and then we'll put it in the center like this. Pretty cool you have the same set of features on both cameras. So we tested the return to home feature. It was not 100% accurate, I could say that. So let's you take a little bit of reference footage from up here with this cross section. So, this cross section here, which it's amazing how close that you can get without losing quality with this uh, three times optical zoom. That's uh, so cool. But don't fly with the three times optical zoom because you lose, <laughs> you lose sort of uh, the sense of where what is going on. It's kind of dangerous to fly with that. So let's just fly it down here before we land it. See, a lot of blinky blinky. <laughs> Let me just go and land it. Okay. <laughs> it was actually drifting towards the door when I tried to land it. I don't know what's going on here in the dark. <laughs> Mystery in the dark. But I was fast. I managed to close the door before anything uh, happened, because otherwise, if I hadn't done that, I would say uh, it would have required a new set of props. Let's just see something, because I didn't notice that while it was airborne. Ah, that's actually interesting. That's interesting. You see, it's recording. And uh, these are actually blinking. So, but that basically means that uh, I don't need this. Where did it go? I don't need this. I don't need this extra LED. That was the issue with the other drones. Uh, that was uh, when we, you press the start record button. The lights were basically turning off and they are not turning off. So that's nice. That's a huge improvement. So I don't need to carry this one with me next time that I go out flying in the dark. So that's really positive. <laughs> And they are visible from downside, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. Okay, so that concluded the night flight with the Air 3S. Do you have any questions around this? Uh, then uh, drop them in the comments below. And in case that you missed all the videos that I've made around this uh, really, really nice drone, then um, I'll make sure to include those on a playlist that you can access through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.